We just finished lunch at the Hollywood Brown Derby. What you think? It was okay. I have mixed feelings as well. <laughs> I mean, okay. Hmm. So, this was the first time we'd ever eaten here. It's a sit-down restaurant, so it's more expensive than, you know, obviously quick service is. But it's also kind of one of those top tier restaurants, so it's gonna be even more expensive than normal. So you're looking at those two things together. How was your food? It was all right. I got the famous Cobb salad. How much did it cost? $20 is the base price. You do have the option for an additional charge to add chicken and maybe shrimp. Yes. was an option as well yeah chicken was an additional six or seven and shrimp was even more than that it was good it was weird because the lettuce was minced and it was a very thin layer with everything piled on top of it which weighted it down to flat yeah it is not what it looked like in the pictures that we've seen no previous pictures i've seen make it look ginormous mm -hmm. and it was a decent size i was full when i finished eating but i think the weirdest thing was how small the lettuce was chopped uh what'd you have i had the filet mignon it was one of the signature 50th things it was a filet mignon over walt's hash it was 50 dollars well, that was 49.99 I have very mixed feelings about that filet mignon. It was cooked perfectly. I ordered it medium rare. It was literally like eating butter. You like chewed into it and it was just not even there. It was amazingly cooked. My problem, two problems. One, it just tasted like cooked meat. There was no seasoning. There was no wow factor. It was just cooked meat. I mean, it felt like butter in your mouth and it just melted, which is amazing. I don't know how to describe it other than that, but it didn't taste like anything. I was very underwowed by this food. And the fact that it was between seven and eight ounces, it was about this thick, it was about this big around, and there was a teeny little bit of that hash stuff underneath it where you couldn't see it until you took it off, and then there was the fried egg. All of that for $49.99. Not worth the cost at all. I, I don't really care to go there again. I've tried it. I'm good. I'm not saying it was bad. It is not worth the money that we paid for it. I was very disappointed when we left. Now, I'm not speaking for my friends here, but I was looking at the portion sizes and the costs of what they received as well. I think one of them got the salmon. He ate it in like two bites. Yeah. That <laughs> was so little. There was two pieces that were about this long and about that wide decorating the plate and then there was some other stuff on the plate as well and i think that was like 38 dollars yeah. and he literally ate it before i even moved my steak out of the way he's sitting there wiping his mouth saying i'm done <sighs> the best thing that i saw on our table was our friend had what chicken a la king mm -hmm. that actually looked pretty good yeah she said that was delicious maybe not portion size for the price still maybe a little off yeah, we knew we were getting an overpriced meal at the Brown Derby right. because it's the Brown we Derby. We wanted to try it. Maybe we should have, you know, just tried the, the lounge, which is right here too. I don't think it's the entire menu. I, I say we've, we've been there, it. we've tried it. it. I mean, the food was fine. It was way overpriced, not worth what we paid for it. That's, that's my feeling. It is 100% not worth what we paid for it. I had a feeling that's the way it was gonna go, but. I keep saying it. I was underwowed by the flavor of that steak. It should have been better. We went to Skipper Canteen and had the steak there. The flavor was just like, I just wanted to keep on eating it. You know, you got to put all this stuff together to make it a worthwhile meal. And that part of the checklist just wasn't there. Have you eaten at the Hollywood Brown Derby here in Disney's Hollywood Studios? Let us know what you think. If you eat there all the time, let us know what's your favorite item. If you haven't tried it, what you want to try. Until next time, remember, no cakes.